<laughs> Good morning. <laughs> we uh, had a kind of crazy morning. Mm -hmm. So I was feeling sick this morning, but bounced back. Like Thank a migraine and kind of sick. I was like feeling like I did after the vaccine. It was weird. Um, I definitely ordered a drone. <gasps> ah! And we're going to surprise my brother for brunch. Yes, on a rooftop. On a rooftop downtown. Uh, our sister-in-law surprised my brother with a hotel. What are those? A hotel, a hotel stay last night. I think for his birthday? Yeah, his birthday was earlier this week. Yes. But we're meeting up. He doesn't know we're coming there. Ew. And then we uh, head to the south side. Great street. So we're surprising my brother and their guests are at Old Navy right now, even though our lunch appointment is in 10 minutes. Yeah, but it's right down there. It, right yeah, it's, the wit's like right there. But look how gorgeous. It's so nice. It is so nice. Look at this. And I found out the, the thing that sold me last night on the drone that we bought this morning. Go is, ahead, I, sleep. I waited until you were awake though to make sure it wasn't sleep. I wasn't <laughs> taking advantage of Sleepy Sarah's mind. <laughs> But a lot of Chicago's airspace is uncontrolled. Hey. So, like the, over there on the riverfront, we could be droning it up as long as we're under 400 feet. When not a, get it? We're gonna get it this week. Once it ships, I think it ships in one, one, one or two business days. Oh, yeah. Let's go! We must have just missed them. It's a little windy, so sorry if the audio is crazy. Um, but they're walking to the whip right now. I'm like wondering if they can see it. I think I might see them across the street over there. I don't know, the wit's right here. So if they're walking right now, they're literally outside right now. We're like within a block of them. I feel like a stop. Look at this crazy room. And we definitely surprised them. Totally you had any surprised. idea? No idea. I was scamming you in the text messages. I had no idea. Look at, have you, I never even knew this place looked like this. But we didn't get past the front desk. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this alpha alpha hair. It's not sticking up, it's not showing up. Oh wait, there it is. Uh, Alright, so my brother got Fist City, local, and I got some Bavarian style Wise Beer Ale. Schnickelfritz. Schnickelfritz. So, I'm hoping it reminds me of Germany and Epcot. Michael just tried it so it does. Here we go with the. We both, we both copied all, each other's. We got the chopped salads. And then we each got one pizza to split. So it looks pretty good and delicious. I like that they actually chopped it already. Because usually it's just the wedge. The wedge salad. The other The two pizzas showed up. We got margarita pizza and a Naduya sweet pepper pizza. Oh, yes. What do you think of this rooftop? Look at this. Pokey pie. Tim got an ice cream cookie sandwich. It smells kind of good. Oh gosh. Yum. Get it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'll have some more of that. <laughs> when James gets restless, oh, it'll be so nice. Nice. He loves the plants. They have weddings there that would just be amazing to go to. Oh, you want a vlog? <laughs>
back to the apartment to get our car seat and the keys for the car. It was a great surprise for my brother. Guess who is breaking a tooth finally? I can feel it on his lower gum. He's been chewing on my thumb this whole walk. And I finally felt something that's not just like a callus piece on his gum. It is a straight edge of a tooth. My baby's breaking a tooth. If you watched the vlog from the other day, you should be aware that I drove over an hour and a half the other day looking for a parking spot when the Cubs went into over innings. So I left to walk to get the car, which is a little over a half mile away from the apartment. And I'm going to drive back and go pick up Sarah and James, who should be like ready to go outside. And then to the south side we go. Jamesy boy, you got a tooth. <laughs> what, what is it, tooth? On the bottom. This Sunday we're grilling. We got some 80% lean over there. We got some different vegan plant-based ones. And uh, it's gonna be a good Sunday grill up. It's been a long time since I've shown this, but Sarah's dad and grandpa and uncle built their garage with this beautiful screen and porch. And the coolest thing ever, a natural gas line for the grill. So I'm gonna pop it on, get this preheating um, so we can start grilling up some burgers. Also for my fellow Midwest fans, with those cold Arctic uh, winters, Sarah's grandpa told her dad when they were planning out the garage and said, the number one thing you have to do if you build the garage here is make sure you run a natural gas line. The grill wasn't the purpose for it. This right here, garage heater, so that you can keep the cars parked in the garage when it's freezing and snowing and at least you don't have to de-ice it. Like you don't have to keep them toasted at 80 degrees, but if you keep it at 50 degrees in here in a zero degree Chicago with snow and ice, then no ice chipping. Grandpa shop. We got our grill preheated. I gotta, I'm gonna scrape it up some. We got some seasoned meats and plant-based meats and uh, Sarah's prepping some zucchini on the inside. Just set up some zucchini for the grill. Olive oil, lemon juice. Salt, pepper, garlic. All right, it is looking good. Here's the zucchini I'm about to pop in. I've never grilled zucchini. Here's the zucchini looking all good. Lemon juice and some seasoning. I've never grilled zucchini, so fingers crossed. And technically, I don't think this brand of plant-based burger is supposed to be grilled, but I tried it for two of them, and I have these two as backups that we'll put on a pan if not. But I have not grilled beef patties in years, and it just feels so like summer to me. I love it. All right, burgers are looking good. Uh, zucchini is questionable, but I've also never grilled that, so we'll see how it goes. I always love grilling it at Sarah's mom's house because it reminds me of when um, I used to grill with her dad and like all the little like little nuances and tricks of the trade and everything he, he told me and taught me what to do. So it's just always fun uh, grilling here. Here's the reveal. Boom, looking good. I'm going to plate it all up and fingers crossed it tastes good. Two important things just occurred. One, all the burgers are done, but um, waffle fries that we made aren't ready yet. And we forgot to toast the buns, which kind of works out. So now I can really quickly just toss the buns on for like a minute. They'll be toasted, ready to go. And then hopefully waffle fries will be ready to go. How many times did I just say ready to go? Ready to go? Ready to go. My cooking assistant tonight was none other than Christine. That's her real name. We've been lying to you and saying her name's Christina. She actually Christine. It's not. I just call that the irritator. She made some grilled onions, some waffle fries, the salad. All the good fixings. Can I sit next to you, babes? Yeah. Thanks. Now this looks like summertime. If you want to take one, you can make that one more. She said, she said, oh no, I don't want to be cold. <laughs> April 24th, Anonymous. A manifesto for simple life. Eat less, wait, 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 wait. Today's the 25th by Eric Butterworth. Don't go through life, grow through life. Love it. Sarah and Peter from the future here. We keep forgetting to sign off. I don't know what to tell you. It's good to be home. It's good to be home.
believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.